Heads up, if you haven't watched the season finale of the fourth season of Yellowstone, then this video 100% is not for you. It contains epic spoilers. Viewer beware. So, you've been warned. Okay, here we go. Here are a few fan theories we would like to share with you and some details we know about the upcoming fifth season. So make sure to continue watching. Now, let's get started. Avenging the Dutton Assault and choosing John over Garrett in a season-long allegiance dilemma, Yellowstone season 4 finale ended with a bang, like Jamie facing his biological father, Garrett Randall. After executing the militia culprits in episode 1, John's other son, Casey, had a much more peaceful season. He continued to serve as the commissioner of livestock. He sold the ranch and moved in with Monica to a new home. They are also expecting their second kiddo. In the last episode, it wasn't apparent why Casey required ceremonial cleansing. Why he went off into the woods to ingest drugs and confront his demons. But the ritual's outcome might hint to Yellowstone Season 5. And those clues suggest it may be the beginning of the end for the show. Casey experiences multiple hallucinations throughout his three-day outdoor right. The first involves his brother, Lee Dutton, who was slain in the first episode of the series. Lee arrives in order to persuade Casey to breach the ritual's restrictions by allowing him to enter the borders. Avery, a former ranch worker who had a flirtation with Casey and expressed her love for him in a previous episode, is the subject of the following hallucination. She is on top of him in the image. The second vision is a little less subtle. What these visions imply is unknown. They might be a symbol of Casey's remorse. Casey's association with the Broken Rock Reservation, which had confiscated the Dutton's livestock in episode 1, caused his brother's death. It's unclear if he reciprocated Avery's feelings, but he might still be guilty of adultery. After that, there's the third viewpoint. Casey receives a visit from a tribal-clad girl. Casey sees her in lieu of the wolves he's seen for the past two seasons. The wolf, he's informed, is his spirit animal, his guardian. She takes him to the top of a hill where he can see two routes. He tells the girl he doesn't know which one to choose, although the viewer can't see them. She promises to assist him in whichever way he chooses. What the vision might indicate is as follows. Fans of Yellowstone speculate that the third vision foreshadows plot lines for the upcoming season. The plot lines won't be insignificant, as Casey later stated to Monica that he saw the end of us in the visions. The image was seen by one Redditor as a sign of Yellowstone's impending doom. The destiny of the ranch will be determined by Casey's decision, which will be made between two families. I think when the wolf woman told him to look down the two paths and choose, one path showed him choosing the ranch, helping save his family during some season 5 drama, but having to sacrifice his relationship with Monica in the process. The other path was to choose Monica and Tate over returning to his family, but thereby perhaps dooming the future of the ranch and his family. Whichever path he chooses, the other relationship will die. The theory is logical. Casey's conflicting loyalties between the ranch and the tribe have been a major focus of the series from season 1. The Dutton's hereditary grip on the land and the forces attempting to modernize or reclaim it. Casey has always been at the center of this debate, since a land swap has the most to lose and gain for him. He can preserve his family's history while enriching himself. Due to the ranch's risks and Monica's tumultuous relationship with John, he may lose Monica and Tate physically or legally, a scenario that has always been in play. Fans have hypothesized that Casey's death may result in the transferring of his estate to Tate, leaving a substantial portion of Yellowstone to a figure who epitomizes the tension between the reservation and the Duttons even more explicitly. Perhaps he is a symbol of unity. Regardless of how you read the vision, Casey appears to be returning to the heart of the series. Casey's character will most likely have a final arc in the upcoming season. It's possible that this is the show's last arc. Another fan-made theory was about the Wild Jamie theory that really made an impact on the fourth season of the show. After a planned strike, 
that concluded the third season of Yellowstone, Beth Dutton spends the duration of season four attempting to uncover who targeted her and her loved ones. Jamie, her adoptive brother, is the focus of her research. Beth marries her lover, Rip Wheeler, in an impromptu wedding as she prepares for her showdown with Jamie. She then walks into Jamie's office with a revolver in her hand, ready to confront him with the truth. He wanted the Dutton's land, therefore Garrett Randall, his biological father, arranged the murders of Beth, John, and Casey Dutton. Beth informs Jamie he has three alternatives after his admission. She has the option of telling John, Rip, or Jamie to kill Garrett. Rather than letting John or Rip know about the secret, Jamie chooses to shoot his biological father instead. Jamie then disposes of the body at the train station, which Beth captures. When she shows her proof to John, she declares that the Duttons have now their own Jamie. The season 4 finale has been discussed on the Yellowstone subreddit, notably the events surrounding Garrett's murder. If this loose plot element ever comes to fulfillment, one user of the subreddit said that it may lead to a cruel twist on Yellowstone season 5. So the big question now is, did Jamie fake Garrett's death? Just two days after Yellowstone season 4 finale aired, Redditor HeatAbel5028 pointed out that when Garrett is murdered, there is never any sign of blood, gore, or anything left behind. Garrett has staged his death to trap Beth and the Duttons, they claimed. We only observed Jamie lugging a body at the train station, but the face was, and half of his body was covered when Beth snapped her notorious image. Redditor Dave TN remarked, it's the physical cliffhanger we all missed. Redditor I Love Tupperware concurred, saying, I was wondering if it was all just a setup too. They also recalled that Jamie might simply turn state's evidence and convey proof of Dutton's actions to the government's attention. Beth's photo, according to Redditor Bella Goat, is worthless in any case and may possibly be a disadvantage to the character in the long run. They argued, it makes Beth an accessory in the corpse dumping and found that it's difficult to tell from the photo that Jamie is disposing of a body. Furthermore, Redditor StandardArm6160 said that Jamie is pulling up a rolled carpet rather than a human individual. Regardless of how you parse it, the occurrence brought Yellowstone back to its themes of generational legacy. Redditor DeBetterLimkeyDog said, G. Randall is gone, and Jamie is one step closer to becoming more like his biological dad something Jay Dutton has undoubtedly feared since he adopted the boy. Guess we all have to do now is wait for Yellowstone's fifth season to find out who Jamie will finally end up taking after. Speaking of the fifth season, here are a few details we know that we'd love to share. Release date. Yellowstone season five is yet to announce its release date. However, filming on the fifth season is expected to begin in May 2022 according to Deadline in December 2021. So there may not be too long to wait after all. Trailer As of now, there is still no trailer for the fifth season. A trailer is unlikely to be released until filming is finished. But with no news on when that could be, it's difficult to say when it'll come. The best guess is late summer 2022, considering the fifth season expected to air around November. A teaser for the season might be released much sooner by Paramount Network. However, it would only be a confirmation video with no new footage. Cast Many of the characters from Yellowstone will not be able to return for the fifth season, as those who have seen the past few episodes of the show will know. While it's terrible news for Hugh Dillon's Sheriff Donnie Haskell and Will Patton's Sheriff Garrett Randall, it's good news for practically everyone else. Kevin Costner is expected to reprise his role as John Dutton, the family's patriarch in the ranch's long-suffering guardian, while other family members such as Kelly Riley played Britannia as John's daughter and Beth as a vicious banker with drug addiction difficulties are expected to return. Casey, John's youngest son, is set to be played by Luke Grimes. The cast will be completed by Cole Hauser as Rip Wheeler, Kelsey Asbill as Monica Long Dutton, Brecken Merrill as Tate Dutton, Jefferson White as Jimmy Herdstrom, Gil Birmingham as Chief Thomas Rainwater, Denham Richards as Colby Mayfield, Ian Bohan as Ryan, and Ryan Bingham as Walker. Fans will have to stay tuned for additional information on newly added characters, including Carolyn Warner, played by Jackie Weaver, 
and Summer Higgins, played by Piper Perabo. Plot Season 4 finished on a surprisingly positive note, whereas Season 3 left us hanging with a slew of cliffhangers. However, there's still a few concerns that we hope the fifth season will explain, such as what Casey's apocalyptic vision means for the ranch's future, if Jimmy and Emily are leaving the show for the 6666 spinoff, and what on earth Beth Dutton has in store. However, with no narrative specifics for the fifth season yet to be released, fans will have to keep an eye out for additional information. And now that's a wrap. Do you have your own theory as well for Yellowstone's fourth season finale? Let us know in the comment section down below. We hope you guys liked this video, stay tuned for more, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.